Hello Sagittarius and uh, happy birthday to all of you. I wish you all a, a wonderful solar year ahead. Um, this is my gift to you guys. I do this for you guys. I love birthdays. So we are in Saggy season and um, I'm going to do a very general coffee cup reading for all Sagittarius out there. And then I have shuffled some cards. I'm going to be pulling overall for um, each for all of you for the year theme and then for each deacon each week more specifically for each but they will be messages for all of you so the message will be um, in general together but it'll be more specific for each deacon and I'll mention that in a minute the plate looks good right there I mean you have very sunny energies but mega 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 changes with home foundation definitely I'm seeing there in your health but let's see what the coffee cup has to say um I do offer, if these are intuitive, intuitive readings, I do offer these if you want one for yourself. The link um, to my website is below my video. Um, otherwise, this is just very, very general reading. Okay, so let's start. Wow. Well, you got, you know, you know, every year has different, you know, we all have ups and downs and major themes and things that happen during the year. That is normal. That is a process of life. It's what I see here is maybe what you're going to be dealing with more. And this is as a general. So you have, you have a lot of worries. Okay. A lot of things from the past that you have to deal with. And then you've got, you're moving forward. Okay. You're definitely on a journey this year. You have a heart on the side too. I am seeing, um, it's like the world, okay? The world is your oyster. It's open up for you. You guys could have a wonderful year in general overall, okay? I do see, though, you're going to have to make smart choices and smart decisions. You're going to have to be careful about who's in your circle, research, learning a lot, okay? You're going to have learning some lessons. And there's going to be people that you're going to need to definitely purge and situations out of your life. And these are making smart rules, smart choices, um in your in your life this um solar year okay it could be a very busy year for you for you a lot of significant things can be rushing in okay so you may be very busy a lot of things coming through too and you're going to have a lot of support too there could be a very specific water sign energy that's going to be very helpful during the year too from what i'm seeing okay i mean overall there is a wonderful it's a wonderful year for you um, you're going to be improving maybe even the, your, the way people view you, your appearance maybe, your um, overall surroundings. We kind of already went through that. Um, building this very powerful, successful image of yourself to the world, okay? Working yourself, definitely. Be open to very new opportunities, doors opening, things coming through. But do avoid going overboard with things. So that means watch your weight gain if you don't want to gain weight and things like that. Because we do see a little bit of ex excess energies, okay? And your temper flares. Now, problems that you have um, from the past and that, they're going to be accented. It's like you can no longer deny the elephant in the room. But it's a way of clearing things up, too. Um, very nice. You do have luck on your side. A lot of successes. But a lot of um, this yellow energy needs to purge out, okay? So it's a lot of purging out. This is like a pair, so you're really building um, th things to fruition, okay? Um, I see new beginnings uh, right now in the get-go. I feel now the first three months from your solar year. Um, new financial beginnings, new beginnings coming through, a lot of growth, okay? On a good path, you're more into your power, okay? And this is like good news, a lot of action. Pay attention to a lot of messages and spiritual ones too, um, this could be a lot of traveling coming up, too. I do see um, working and gaining a lot. You have a lot of power and energy at this point in time, too. Okay? Um, I do see building more upon stability. There is this unknown, and there's this, like, huge um, void here. So there's things that have been missing that you've been wanting. You could be feeling in your own story here. So I see that. I do see a lot of um, smart choices, decisions, um, lessons learned from the past, and building upon that. Second chances are coming in to rebuild maybe just say things that you made mistakes in the past. A lot of that is coming through. Okay, so but a lot of smart, you need to research a lot of um, energy. I see a lot of educational um, energy too. It's spiritual, educational as all uh, as well. So that's like the first three, um, the first six months that I'm seeing there. I do see 
maybe coming into, well, if you live in the United States, the second half of your solar year, like June, July, August, then September, October, November, I'm kind of looking. There's a lot of energy here too, but I do see a lot of stress, a feeling stuck, a lot of frustrations, a lot of things could be going on at that time too. Um, you need to change a lot of things up and you need a lot of patience around that time, okay? A lot of that energy and connect spiritually as well, all right? Um, I do see a significant water sign, again, coming through here. Very nurturing energy. You're going to have a lot of support, especially a female in your life um, is coming through very strongly. I do see, um, make sure any promises that you make that you have to keep, okay? Because I do see that, but... I see very nice new beginnings. This could be um, uh, dealing with children, too. Very nice energies. A lot of celebrations going to be going on at that time, too. I do see reunions, get-togethers. Nice, 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 nice energy. Uh, you definitely going to have a lot of creative energy yourself. And the focus is going to be on you and uh, creating a lot in your life, too. I do see you have very strong energy. Okay, but you're going to be dealing with a lot of past things as well. This is like childhood things, people from the past. You're going to have to be very strong to kind of purge some of that stuff out too because they will come back. You you can't, um, if you've been uh, not denying the past or you've been trying to ignore the past or something, there is loose ends that are going to be coming up. You have the strength to get rid of them to start um, creating a whole new era and chapter because you see this whole big void here. Okay, so that's really coming in um, very predominantly. Um, there is a, something about watch inflammation, maybe something dealing with water. And I'm seeing that more in the plate. I'll get there. But I am seeing that energy um, as well. Yeah, you've got major changes coming. So a lot of things, whatever happens, good and bad this year is going to be like big major things. Okay, so yeah, and then filling up and creating your own story. So basically, you do have very, sh look, smooth energy. It's like clean, uh, cleaning the slate. So just say in the past, you've had a bad past yourself, maybe. And you want to change your life. You want to rewrite your story or whatever. Remember those lessons and just keep building upon it because you got such shiny energy on the bottom. It's like clean slate, okay? All right, so that's what came through in the cup and now the plate. Okay, what I want to say to... Um, some of you may be dealing with a lot of water, uh, water energy, maybe very um, dealing with your emotions, but it could indicate, because it's a little runny, it could indicate floods. Be care There's an energy, it's a little bit negative, so be careful around water, okay? Um, you know, if you don't know how to swim, you know, make sure you take swimming lessons or something, uh, or fluids, what fluids you take. This also is talk, talk, telling me, um, this could be... <sighs> If any of you have addictions, okay, like with drugs, uh, alcohol, or anything like that, you may have serious losses this year. That means accidents, um, people losing uh, losing people. Um, you could um, have, you know, it's not good because that's the energy that really came out strongly for you guys. So and you, um, any addictions, you could... Um, uh, have sorrow and loss from it so that is one thing that really came out remember it is a general reading okay i do see your personal finances are going to be coming into focus how you make money financial um conditions are going to be changing now it's a, a general for better or for worse okay and again we it's how you know there's going to be changes so that's one thing i'm definitely seeing here but a lot of educational energy, too. A lot of Sagittarius is this year. If you want to even go back to college or you just say you, you have a um, uh, master's, you want a PhD, a lot of you are going to be doing that. Or you're going to be going back to college or going back to school. I see that. Or some of you are going to become professors, teachers. Um, very powerful energy there. A lot of abundant energy coming through for you, too. Now, I do see a lot of degrees. That's what I see. But I do see, like... Travel for a lot of you, this could be maybe you're going to travel because of school, travel for business. A lot of you are going to have that kind of energy because you're going to a, a lot of places. Building upon home and foundation is going to be extremely very important this year too and family situations. Now, savings investments like taxes, um, there's a regeneration there too, but there it isn't coming into focus, okay? Um, you may be dealing with legalities, okay? Things that you need to clear up. If you've had loose ends, they're going to come back for you to clear up. Um, intimacy issues, okay? I'm seeing that coming through. 
that there's going to be some kind of uh, powerful energy there too. Be careful of mind games this year too. I see a lot of psychological energy. So maybe some of you may be taking psychological courses or something like that or people playing mind games, you know. There's that uh, control power thing too. So that's one thing I'm seeing there. But a lot of changes and um, things happening with the home and foundation and your health as well. So um, if you, yeah, watch your health. Make sure that you're build, um, building strong, um, healthy, healthy um, habits and that too. So that's basically what came through there for a general. And now I'm going to be pulling the cards for each deacon and I'm going to do the first overall and then pull for each deacon. These messages will be for all of you, but if I mention your birthday between, they're going to be more in focus according to the cards for you. Now for overall, for all of you, you have, to, this has been coming up strongly. It's coming up strongly right here. And I saw it in your cup, home and foundation and your health is very important this year. It came up overall too. So there is some stresses, maybe there's some um, things and issues that you need to deal with um, home. This could sometimes be legal matters, um, things that um, need to be, could be a little bit stress with building your, um, on your foundation with home and foundation, but also take care of your health, okay? So home, family, and that is coming into focus. And the next card is 10 of hearts. Beautiful. You're coming into a magnified new beginning, okay? And this, for some, this is happiness, um, weddings. Um, family, overall beautiful energy, okay, creating this beautiful energy with Home Foundation and your health. If you had health issues, you may likely um, resolve them this year too, okay? So that's really a really good energy to have for all of you overall, okay? Now, for the first deacons who are born approximately November 23rd to December 2nd, this is most significant for you. You got the full look, double fours. Um, let me pull this up, okay? You have the four of hearts, so home and foundation. This could indicate marriage, commitments. A lot of truths are coming through um, as well, too. Permanent endings and building upon a foundation. So that's what's coming through for you guys. And the five of spades. A lot of changes, the way you think. Um, cutting out things that are toxic. This could be even with connected with home and foundation. Cutting out what doesn't serve you anymore. Editing. Um, this is dealing with um, a lot of... Um, um, reassessments as well, but changes are definitely coming through. Okay. So for you guys, um, I just feel you're, when we're connecting all this, there's a friendliness to you. You're going to be more open, more expressive. And this is mostly with people close to you too. Um, there is a heart card, which I like. That's the love of adventure, um, new experiences with people close to you or in your foundation at home too. Okay, um, well, the, the spades here also indicates a quick mind, a desire for knowledge, because fives also is learning. Okay, so that's really good, learning new things, editing out what you don't need. Um, you're going to impress a lot of others. Um, you're going to be more sincere. You're going to be more confident this year. Uh, people are going to be tending to trust you more. So we see that again. Um, you could be dealing with some kind of your belief systems that are going to be changing, okay? They're going to be especially important to you this year. This year will bring you more order to your communication style, the way you communicate, um, your beliefs, things like that. Expressive energy is coming through here, too. Um, just watch out for self-indulgent energy as well, okay? I do see that. And... Maybe a lot of talks will be happening as, as well this year, okay? So that's for the for most emphasis for the first deacons. And the second deacon, if you're born December 3rd through December 12th, which my two kids are, you got the nine of diamonds and you have the ten of spades, okay? You're about to wrap up something, okay? Money is coming into focus. These are learned lessons, humanitarian type of energy as well. This is good for business, real estate too, but then you have... A magnifying new beginning, but this is um, fortune after difficulties, dealing with disappointments, dealing with things from the, um, you know, that have been really hard and stressful. Okay. Um, this is uh, an, an coming to an end or a realization to that. Okay. So we're seeing that energy coming through here. Um, this indicates too that you're very strong willed this year. Very intuitive. A nine is also a very intuitive. It's between heaven and earth too. So very intuitive energy um it's like 
you're coming into some kind of power too. You're not going to accept any answers or responses to any difficult questions um, that people may give you something da, 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 half half asked. Oh my God, my expressions. You're going to want, you know, clear cut answers. You want to also, in a way, this does show there is a sense of control that you maybe are wanting to control some certain situations in your life and relationships in which you are involved. With the nine here, this is very humanitarian too, but it's very, it's, it's a feminine kind of energy here. So you may be dealing a lot with women, children, um, making sure that you have your home needs like food. They may be very, in, um, very important for you to you in your life um, this solar year, okay? This year, try to pursue realistic um, goals, I think is the best way to say it. Very intuitive energy this year too, being more assertive. And there's a sense of a watch your emotions because it's kind of, you you know, you could be very emotional this year as well because we're, you know, connecting these cards too. And for the third deacon, which is if you're born December 13th through about the 21st, you have the eight of hearts, beautiful. And you have the ace of spades. Okay, so the eight of hearts here indicates love, socializing, okay? After difficulties, you know, we're pulling all this together. This is just more profound for you guys. So that's power, love, um, do things with love. You have um, endings, new beginnings, and coming into your power here. You have a very powerful new beginning here, too. This is sometimes dealing with legalities, the truths being revealed. Um, you know, just uh, very new beginnings here. What I feel here, very ambitious energy for you guys this um, this year, too. Very warm-hearted, okay, um, type of energy coming for uh, coming through. There is some sense of you may have, you may be a lot more eager to get attention this year, okay? Because you got the Eight of Hearts, you got the eight, um, Ace of Spades here. Um, you're going to be looking at what are your luxuries, okay? Uh, you're going to uh, try to make things easier for you. Um, you're very authority in this year, okay? There's a strong sense of responsibilities for you guys too. Um, your leadership this year is going to be very um, obvious, Okay. And it's going to give you the ability and the skills that you need. Um, it's going to stand out, okay? Because you got an eight and you have a one. So it's going to definitely stand out your leadership quality, okay? But you're going to be able to help out maybe a group of people or that too. This year, you need to find new ways to use this leadership um, and new beginning, powerful new beginning you're coming into, okay? Uh, your skills or whatever it is, okay? Very ambitious energy this year for you guys. Very authoritarian energy, too, but you're very perceptive. This is clear-cut seeing the truth, too, okay? So you guys have a pretty good reading, okay? These are the main energies. This is for everyone, and this is how it builds up. And so really, we're looking at uh, home and foundation is a ver very big thing. Maybe some marriages, commitments taking place, taking care of your health, happy home, happy family, beautiful new beginning. There's some things that, to, that you all overall need to edit, cut out, learning experience too. Okay, so I am seeing that energy. Okay, changes there too. Educational here too. Okay, this is building upon something very humanitarian, also energy, perceptive energy. You have the Ten of Spades again, um, ending um, difficult after fortune, uh, fortune after difficulties. And then you look underneath, you have an Ace of Spades. Very, 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 very profound new beginning this is beautiful. Socializing is going to help you a lot this year too. A lot of love, um, a lot of focus on uh, love energy as well. So this can indicate definitely marriage too, okay? Even children, sometimes adding to the family. And definitely, this is an ending, okay? New beginnings. Something is going to end, start new. We're seeing that energy purging. We kind of basic, basically saw that in the cup too. Well, Sagittarius, that was your reading for the week ahead. A week ahead, oh my gosh. Your solar year reading. Um, looks positive, and if you like one, like I said, for yourself, um, you can find that on my website. The link is below this video. I wish you all a very happy birthday, a wonderful and blessed year ahead, and bye for now.